Welcome back to 12 News. Walt is sharing some music history in today's Mississippi moment. This will be fun. And Walt, today you're talking about a musician from the Magnolia State who has a high price record that is also setting a record. Yeah, it, a little confusing, record, record. But <laughs> this happened a few years back, but I just ran across it, so it's news to me, so maybe it will be to you. But a recording by a Mississippi musician holds the record for the highest price ever paid for a record. Now, who was this musician? You know, we all have Elvis from Mississippi, Jimmy Rogers, B.B. King, Tammy Wynette, and about a thousand more. And it wasn't any of them. Well, it was one of the thousand, I guess. So, but back in 2013, a music collector paid $37,000 for an old 78 RPM record done by bluesman Tommy Johnson. Now, did I hear a collective, who's Tommy Johnson? <laughs> well, let me tell you a little about him. Uh, in 2014, Tommy Johnson had a section of Highway 51 at Crystal Springs renamed for him. He was born in Terry, but he called Crystal Springs his home, and he's buried nearby. He was born in the late 1890s, died in the 1950s, but he spent a lot of time up in the Delta and developed a particularly individual style of playing and singing Delta blues, and he recorded several songs on the Paramount label, and one of those songs was one of the, is, is the record that brought the big bucks. It's called Alcohol and Jake Blues. Now, don't confuse Tommy Johnson with the better known Robert Johnson, who was younger but died a lot earlier, and both of them were pioneering Delta Blues players, influencing others who also influenced others and others and others. Now, for instance, the 1960s rock and roll group Canned Heat took their name from a Tommy Johnson song, just like the 1960s rock group Love and Fo Spoonful took their name from a Mississippi John Hurt song, and then the Eternal Rolling Stones took their name from a Muddy Waters song, and Muddy Waters is some rolling fork, and the Beatles just took their music and re-recorded it, but none of them ever sold a single record for $37,000. That's a record for a record sale. And Jade, I bring all this up because Tommy Johnson was from this part of the country, so folks may have a pile of 78s that grandma or great grandma had just sitting around. Shuffle through it. See if you have a Tommy Johnson or even a Robert Johnson original in there, you may find yourself a treasure. And as soon as I get home tonight, I'm going to sift through my old 78s and see if there's anything in there besides Guy Lombardo and Frank Sinatra. Because <laughs> a, a good hard sell for an old blues record, that really. That, that really cure up my blues right away. Well, Walt, I, I know we were talking about the number of records you have. I know it's going <laughs> to take you a while to go through your collection. And gosh, you could be a millionaire with the, with the number of records you have. Well, I tell you what, I have a very extensive collection of nothing in particular, and it's not that valuable. <laughs> so anyway, 